Welcome everyone to a new series. This is episode one of Crosscode. Wow, this loading screen is kind of long, eh? As you can see, this game was made by Radical Fish and was made in HTML5 using the Impact uh, JS framework, which is the same framework as uh, Shadows of Adam. I don't know who ported this to the Switch. I don't know that Impact JS can be run on the Switch, so it might have been ported by a third party, I don't know. That's what Shadows of Adam ended up doing, but maybe this guy or this team or whatever um, did it themselves. So, let's begin. Actually, you know what? Let's check out the options just for the fun of it. Skip tutorials? Heck no. Confirm. Cutscene skip? Yes. Text speed? That's fine. Uh, music volume, sound volume, everything here seems okay. Interface? Geez, there's a lot of freaking settings here. Uh, Let's just... I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna say we can keep these to the default for now. Screen shake, sure, we can leave that in. Speed lines. Uh, okay, this is gonna be one of those... Is this one of those games where it's going to get super hectic? I sure hope not. Crossco is the dying with challenge in mind. However, if this makes the game less enjoyable or even inaccessible for you, you can use these options to tweak the difficulty to your liking. Damage received, enemy attack frequency, puzzle speed. What's scaled down the speed of increased duration of puzzle elements such as switch timers. I kind of appreciate this, you know? Maybe if uh, I suck at the game, I'll come back in these options. All right, let's start a new game. Without difficulty settings, okay, okay, yeah, sure, we just read that. Bento Chan? What? What is this? Initializing avatar. Okay. Uh, I know you can hear me. Where is he? Zuka, I have to ask you to leave. But you're keeping him here? What do you think you're doing? Time is running short. We don't have a choice. So you abduct a dying person and l let him work until his last breath? Is that it? I'm gonna talk some sense into him. Don't get in my way. We can move around. Nah, this game is beautiful. Look at this. Wow. Another reason why I wanted to play on my uh, Switch is because I don't know how well this would run on my computer. And uh, capturing content. Chizuka, please don't do this. And yeah, I find that uh, playing... Um on my on my switch that relieves that the uh, you know the, the cpu load to the to the switch itself so it's not on my computer so i got more frames to capture all this sweet sweet content all right i'm sorry but i can't y let you go any further really dodge Hold L and press L. Uh, L being the trigger or just L? Uh, that's probably L, okay. Okay. Attack, press R, 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 R. Okay, R, okay. Oh. Ah! Boom, take that. I am kicking some butt. You'll have to do better than that. Go. Obviously, if I press L without moving. Oh, okay, okay. So it's not too too complex so far. You know this is what he wants as well. Sure, you'd like to think that. You won't listen. Cold based? How very creative. to go up weak to heat how surprising almost there if you interrupt him all of his hard work will be lost don't do this so it ne never should have happened in the first place
Okay, this is it. You don't know when to stop, do you? Just watch. Charge. Press and hold ZR. Let go. You can throw as many en enemies as at me as you like. The level threshold doesn't exactly work in your favor. Ugh. I had played a game a long Ooh. Is there a reason why I can come here? Oh, ow. I guess not. Remember not to jump in the water, because <laughs> it'll hurt you. Can't seem to... Okay. Resume game. Satoshi! Sister. What do you think you're doing? You're in no condition to do this kind of work now. All you should do is rest. Why should I rest when I'm way beyond recovery? I need to finish this work. It's my final task. I told you about the agreement. Uh, finish this and they will let you go. No, I don't want this. Uh, Satoshi, stop it. It's done. No! Shizuka, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I got you involved in this. No. Just promise me that you will get away. Please. I mean, not bad. Looks pretty good so far. Initializing avatar. <laughs> there you are. Initialization successful. <sighs> oh, is the speech synchronization malfunctioning? <sighs> Apparently. Well, something just had to go wrong. But you understand me, correct? Okay, we'll make it work somehow. You are probably confused about this situation, correct? Uh-huh. Alright, let, let us take small steps. Do you remember VRPs? Uh-huh. Virtual Ricochet Projectiles. Uh, balls? Huh. Uh-huh. Okay, you seem to remember. Carla, we're ready. Please initiate the training sequence. VRPs are your most essential tool and weapon. They are basically like balls. <laughs> your task is to hit all these robots with VRPs. So give it a shot. Or rather, a throw. Uh... This to aim, and R to throw. There you go. Nice work! Uh-huh. Well, just to be sure, let us repeat this exercise with an extended distance. Uh... Something particularly about VRPs, they are not affected by gravity. Thus, no matter how far you throw, VRPs will not fall on the ground. Oh. Very good. Okay, next, let us enable the charge mode. 
Charge mode activated. You activate charge VRPs by aiming for a longer time. Let us practice right away. Charge mode allows for the throwing of larger VRPs. Those charged VRPs will ricochet on walls. That is the reason for their name, you see. Using charged VRPs, you can hit the target with the red circle. Easy enough, right? Okay, enough practice with VRPs. It is about time we put your, you down on your feet. Carla, we're done here. Can you terminate the flotation sequence? Hey there, girl. Welcome to our cozy cargo shop. Uh, my name's Carla. Nice to meet you. Uh, you sure are a quiet one. Apparently there's an issue with her speed synchronization. She still understands us, though. No way! Is there a way to fix it? I do not know yet. Uh, we'll have to look into that. Anyway, I'm sure we'll be able to understand each other somehow. Non-verbal uh, communication? You know. Uh-huh. a girl. Still kind of would like to know your name. Sergey, can you help us out here? Right. Her name is uh, Leia. Leia. Well, ain't that sweet. Huh? Well then, Leia, ready to get up? We gotta get you ready for what's coming. Ball throwing in the light, you know? And I got just a thing prepared for you. Follow me. Move, press, access, the pause menu, and save. Sure will. Create a new save? Yeah, I would create a new save. Do we have an unlimited amount of saves? That'd be kind of cool, because I'm obsessed with save spots. Can I go shoot computers? Hey, hey there, girl. I'd appreciate if you wouldn't step on my stuff like that. Um, I mean, maybe. Is there anything I can actually do here with all this stuff? I kind of like that you just kind of bump by walking on stuff, but I don't seem to have a jump button so far. Just leave through the door when you're ready. Uh-huh. Ah, Scrooge the exit. Alright, let's get started. You're tasked to reach the door at the other end of, the of this room. And don't mind me, I'll just stick around and keep an eye on you. Well, I may give you some hints if you ask nicely, you know. Uh... Huh? Don't tell me you're already stuck. No. Right then, go on. Alright, let's see. Well, clearly we have to go this way. Oh yeah, never mind the visor. I just need this to see what you're doing. Huh? Do not worry about it for now. We will explain it to you later. Uh, am I supposed to do something here? Uh, can I hit anything? I can't hit anything. What's this supposed to be? I can't move it. I can't shoot it. Oh, right. I'm so stupid. There you go. I forgot how to shoot. I had to aim first. Duh. There you go. Okay. Um, can we shoot through this? We sure can. And can we charge these? There you go. Can we charge these? Uh, I bet you we can ricochet on this stuff. God, I'm good. Oh, that's just the one. Uh, okay. How do I jump? Oh, just up here. Oh, did I just screw that up? No, oh, it's because I didn't actually do this. It's one. And then two. Not bad. I'm practically a genius. I'm an expert at this game. Entering the next stage. More switches ahead. Okay, this probably needs a charge. Oh, okay, no. I'm just continuous shooting of it. Girl, you sure are natural with that ball thing. Uh, Carla, they are called VRPs, not balls. Ah, oh, come on. Nobody called them that anymore. 
Unfortunately, yes. I don't know that these can... Okay, they can bounce. Uh, we not... I don't know that I'm able to do it like this just yet. So that... Oh, okay. And here we thought... Well done! Yeah, that was all. It's a small room. Finally, this one's my favorite. You can go wild on these robot mice. We'll be target practice. Have fun, girl. Huh. I'll just kill the ones over here. Oh, there's a counter as to how many you have to kill before they, uh... Bet you some of them are... Hidden, exactly. Probably in here somewhere. Welcome to the Rats Fortress, standing unprecedented for centuries. Apparently somebody had a fun time putting this together. Oh, slow down there, girl. Just a short warning. Here, you'll meet your first real enemies. And by real, I mean those things will, in fact, attack you. Huh? Don't get me wrong, they're, they're really easy, but still, if you do get beat down, your respawn point's right in this room. Uh, um, that means there's no real danger. Go ahead and kick some ass. Uh, just a moment, let me enable the dash module before we start the battle. Dash activated. Huh? Dash is essential in battle, since it helps you to quickly dodge enemy attacks at any time. Right he is. Now, please enter to the right in order to proceed with the Aska King. There we go, we can now... Press L while moving to dash. Though only up to three times in a row, you can dash at any time, even while aiming. Okay. All right, good luck in there. Bit of advice. Hit them with a charge ball to cancel attacks. I didn't realize that. How good I am. Yeah, that was awesome, girl. Sergey, you weren't kidding. She's really got a knack for battling. Yeah, that sure takes me back. Ugh. Hey, champ, get your adrenaline down again for a second. We gotta add a bit more edge to your arsenal. A sharp one, that is. Ah. I see that you got your attention. Sergey, you finished? Yes, unlocking virtual proximity impact now. Millie activated. Great, with those close combat strikes called VPI, you can quickly tear through several targets in your path at once. Only th them close ones, of course. You got that? Uh huh. Sharp as a blade. Now start by clearing that path for us, will ya? Wait, uh, wait there for a sec. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I know. A second waited is an attack wasted. Still, you should know that your strikes have enough punch to interrupt some attacks. So you can just pummel opponents without giving them a chance to strike back. Ah, sounds like a plan, am I right? <laughs> so go get them. Nice moves, they didn't even see it coming. That was not standard VPI was not model after boxing. Shucks my pants. And another victory for our fearless gladiator, Leia. A boxing gladiator. Would you look at those cowards ganging up on you? Don't panic, just keep moving and strike fast. Oop, 
Okay, so it doesn't seem to interact, does it? It doesn't. It doesn't. I got hit there a couple of times. And is there one in there? Amazing work! Number sure can't beat skills. And you just crossed the finish line. Congrats! Ah, seriously, girl, that was quick. It's like you've never forgotten the basics at all. Huh? Oh, oh my, you still look so puzzled about all this. I suppose about time we explain all the circumstances. You bet it is. But let's take a short break before that, okay? I still need to re report to the captain. He wants to meet Leia as well. Good idea. Best not keep Jet waiting for too long. Come on, Leia. Right this way. Is there anything here? Like, is there any reason why I wouldn't, you know, go explore? All right, up to the bridge. Oh yeah, Leia, just a heads up. The captain's kind of grumpy, but don't worry about it. That's just the way he is. <sighs> Cap, I'm back with the report. I see, go on. The initiation? A total cinch. Here's the avatar, name's Leia. I hard to miss that, lass. Hope you didn't run into every, uh, everything with those horns there. Huh? <sighs> Wait, don't tell me you didn't notice the horns till now, Leia. Uh... Anyway, make sure you clean up that mess you started down in the cargo hold soon. Yes, Cap. I hope Sergei's satisfied. Is he around? Yeah, just give me a sec to set up your, heart, uh, your headset. Hello there, Jet. My good man, it's been a long time. Indeed. You are still clinging to that jetpack, I see. You know I'd never travel to sea without good old Betty. Anyway, I hope you, you two will uh, be ready to travel on soon. Having a uh, darn avatar on board is just calling for trouble. Of course, we'll make this as brief as possible. Gee, Cap, what kind of welcome is that supposed to be? Besides, ain't we talking to Jet, former VRP dueling champ? You keep telling us all about your combat moves from the old days. So here I thought maybe you'd want to give Leia a small combat lesson. Uh, you're telling me that we lasts up for battle? Oh yeah, you bet she is. Right, we'll see about that. Just talk to me later today. Sweet. Now then, you're dismissed. You can show the lass around the ship, but don't you stir up any trouble. All right, Captain. Come on, Leia. It's time for some fresh air. Welcome aboard the MS Solar. Why the ship, huh? <sighs> you know, the view here is nice, but you gotta see what's beyond the bow. We're currently steering towards Rhombus Square. That's something to look at, huh? Actually, why not go to the bow and explain the situation to Leia there? Seeing Rhombus Square will make it easier for her to understand, correct? Hey, good thinking, Sergey. Follow me, Leia. for myself. What are we looking for around here? <laughs> went that way, but let's talk to the... Oh, I went to go talk to the bridge crew. There she is, the Avatar! And, and she's a Spheromancer class! How awesome is that? Huh? Looks like you got your first fan, Leia. Huh. Hey there, Caller. Good, good to see you. About all these strange boxes here. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to clean that up. But right now, I have to take care of the avatar, you know? I'll do it in a bit, okay? See you later. There she goes again. She said exactly the same thing yesterday. The Spheromancer is so awesome. That was this way. It's a bit of a walk, though. Just follow me. Carla, what were all those destructible boxes doing in that room anyway? I was just practicing how to use those things, you know? Probably should have done that somewhere else. I'm just gonna check. Okay, so you can walk kind of like all the way around. Kind of wish there was a way to see through layers that, you know, cover you. 
I wouldn't get stuck, but maybe you can't get stuck. And then if we talk to people... <laughs> Sorry, I'm busy checking the containers here. Okay, okay, okay. No worries. Are these avatars? Um, should I shoot him? No, I won't shoot him. But he's activated. I want to shoot him. Can I shoot him? Can I just shoot him? Oh. Ah, oh, look who's here. You must be that avatar, right? Well then, welcome to the MS Solar. If you lean over the railing a bit, you might even see the name of the ship. Ah, uh, very cool. Oi, make sure you don't fall into the sea. I'm pretty sure avatars are bad at swimming. Uh, that makes sense. I really can't climb up here. Nothing to do over here. Where is our good friend here? What's her name? Now, girl, have a look at this. Okay, where to start? How about welcome to Cross Worlds? Mm. One step at a time, Carla. Leia, do you remember the concept of an MMO? Uh, yeah, I guess I know what an MMO is. Sure. Alright. Now, Cross World is like an MMO, just with one striking difference. The world of this game is not virtual, it's real. All players are remotely connected to this world through special avatars. These avatars have a physical form and are tightly connected to all five senses of the player. And you, Leia, are currently logged into this game as well. Huh. Huh? Oh, me? No, I I'm not a player. I just work here. In fact, you're only one. You're the only avatar on this whole ship. And that is correct. This cargo ship belongs to the maintenance staff of Crossworld. The actual game takes place in the line you see over there, the playground. The reason you're here, Leia, is because you are not a regular player. You have lost your memory and we are trying to recover it. Huh? You see, you have been in this game before. Being logged into this game, there is a chance you might remember your past. And that is why we'll try to get you into the real playground soon. Yeah, in fact, you'll be going to that glass palace of a city over there. That's Rhombus Square. It's where all the players start. Well, I guess this cleared up some things at least, right? Alright then, I think this is a good time to split. I'm gonna go talk to the captain and try to set up that combat lesson for you. Meanwhile, you can have a look around the ship, if you like. The crew knows about you. I guess you already noticed that, right? You can meet me and the captain later. Until then, uh, just make sure not to fall to the, in the water, girl. By the way, Leia, I had a closer look at those speech synchronization issues. Unfortunately, I do not think I'll be able to fix them soon. Uh -huh. However, I found a little workaround. I might be able to hard-code specific audio patterns into your speech modules. That means you can, you'll be able to say certain words. Huh. That should help a bit, correct? Let us try it out. New word embedded. Hi. 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 Hi, 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 hi. It works. That should help you start some conversations with the crew here. Have a look around the ship. Hi! Well, hello there! You must be a guest on this ship, right? Why don't we... Don't be shy. We seamen may look rough, but we're easygoing folks, really. You want to know what I'm doing here? Yeah, of course. I mean, hi! I'm currently checking up on the solar panels here. These are our primary energy source, so they better work properly. Otherwise, our nice and shiny Emma Solar won't budge a centimeter. Trust me, being stuck in the ocean too long is not something you want to experience. Uh, I suppose you did uh, you did not even notice you are an avatar. Well, the human appearance is pretty convincing. Except for the hair color. Dude, I know you're new around here, but really, you gotta be more relaxed about all this. What, just because I was too quick about cleaning duty? It wasn't really that much. Well, if you keep it up, people will notice. Dude, I know you're... More relaxed about this. What, what was I doing much? Notice... I did notice. 
I don't understand. What am I supposed to do? Oh, hey, you're the Avatar girl, right? Hi. I was just giving our newbie here a lesson. Hey, I've been working here for six months. Yeah, sure. Before you know it, you'll all be cleaning that whole deck from the back every day. Is there something I can do here? We'll start to notice. How am I supposed to... There must be something I can do. There has to be something I can do. I don't understand what that means. I'm sure we'll learn later though. This is probably like these things you can interrupt or something, but I only have very limited, limited things to talk about. Oh, who's there? You must be that Archer, right? Well then welcome. All right, all right, all right. I've already talked to him. And they don't seem to say anything new. Oh, wait, uh, does he? Hi! Hey, can't you see I'm busy here? Wait, who are you? Oh, right, I remember now. You're, you're that pseudo-robot thing. Uh. Oh, no offense. See, I just re recently had this discussion with a colleague. It was about avatars being the same as robots. You have to insist, they are not. Avatars are just some fragile temporary collection of instant matter. Everybody knows real robots are made of metal, like these beauties here. But I just can't share the excitement of my colleagues about your presence. You're just an avatar. No true robot, see? Uh, anyway, I have to take care of my babies here, so if you'll excuse me... Sure. Oh, we already talked to this guy. I wonder if there's a way to... skip through things quickly. Not too quickly. Oh, here you go. Are they talking? Hi! Oh, avatar incoming! I must say I'm surprised. I spotted the embodiment of some gamer kitty wildest dream, lots of beefcake and such. Yet, here we have such a cute girl. Aww. Too bad that doesn't really say anything about the player's actual appearance. Huh? Just like in the old days of MMOs, some things never change. Oh my, that's some extremely colorful hair you have there. Oh. I had, uh, I had heard that avatar design sent to be flamboyant, but really? And those horns, too. Uh. You're not happy about them either, nah. No, I have to wonder who put those things on you. <laughs> Freaking Sergey. Alright, let's save. And, uh, you know what? We'll end it here. In the next episode, we'll, um... Oh, man. Oh, Miss Sartar is back! Hi! Ooh, she talked to me! Gee, calm down there, fella. Anyway, Carl just passed by us again. She told us that you could take care of all these boxes here. I mean, really, can you believe that woman? Now she's loading off her work on our guest. Well, she has a point. It's easy to destroy these boxes with your avatar weapons, right? Uh-huh. Awesome, please, I want to see that. Well, no pressure, you know. You're our guest, after all, but you'd help us a lot. Uh, so will you destroy the boxes for us? Yeah, show us the balls. All right, so as I was saying... Uh, we'll end the episode here. In the next episode, we'll go meet up with, uh, Carla, is her name? I'm forgetting. And, uh, possibly fight the captain. Oh, and we'll clear this room of all these boxes. So as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Let me know what you think of cross, uh, cross codes so far. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.